Excellent. We've got to begin somewhere in English 3601, the English language. So let's start with two questions that seem evident, seem self-evident, not worth paying too much attention to, but are actually pretty important for what, what we're going to try and do in this course. What determines grammaticality? And what determines if a style is formal or informal? So let's go to the first one. Speech determines grammaticality. If you can say it, then it's grammatical, and it's going to be grammatical both in speech and in writing. So this is what the textbook means when they say, in a sense, you already know English grammar. But let's prove it with their example. Take the four words, the dog ran away, and make three grammatically correct sentences out of it. The first is obvious, capitalize the T of the, and put a period after away, and that's grammatical, isn't it? The dog ran away is a grammatically correct sentence in the English language. But what are the other two? What are the other two grammatically correct sentences? Hit pause if you'd like to, but if you don't, just keep listening, okay, and think about it on your own. Most people who know something about grammar, who think about this uh, question, want to put the verb first, because questions in English often begin with verbs. So, ran the dog away should be a question, shouldn't it? But we'd all agree that's ungrammatical. You're not, you, you can't say it. No one would ever say, ran the dog away. We would say, did the dog run away? Will the dog run away? Th there would be other ways that we would say that. And analyzing that, thinking about it, which we'll do later on in the semester, will make an important difference between lexical verbs and auxiliary verbs. We'll come back. But you already know it, ran the dog away is not grammatical. So what's the answer? What are the other two? And it turns out, somewhat surprisingly, that if you put the adverb first, away, then you can follow it with either the verb or the subject. Away ran the dog, or away the dog ran. We hear is grammatically correct. So those are the three, and those are the only three grammatically correct sentences. But the reason for it is buried pretty deep, isn't it? This is the difference between descriptive and prescriptive grammar. You've got to do descriptive grammar at some level because to prescribe a rule that says, if you begin a sentence with an adverb, then you may follow it with a, you know, you, you don't need that in order to understand the language. But recognizing that may tell you something important about how you can revise your language to use adverbs uh, in ways that are interesting, to keep your basic sentence structure reflecting the ideas that you're trying to convey. Those are the things that we'll get to in the class and really the point of this class. Let's talk a little bit about formality and informality, again with their example. I'm the one she can rely on, as opposed to the third, I am the one on whom she can rely. I think all of you will probably recognize the first as more informal. Now we can talk about contractions, and a prescriptive grammarian would say, avoid contractions in formal writing. And so we might want to, if we're following our prescriptive rules, come with I am. And a prescriptive grammarian is also likely to say don't. You may not end sentences with prepositions because prepositions need objects. So you have to take that on and move it to the beginning of the dependent clause with a form of the pronoun that isn't the subject form because it's the object of the preposition, therefore, do you know? I am the one 
on whom she, the subject, can rely. So that would be more formal. Now, which is correct? The answer is they're both correct. And our textbook will prefer the first one. They will say, we do it in speech. We use contractions in speech. We end sentences with prepositions in speech. That's going to be preferable unless you're shooting for a very formal style. Do you see that those basic points? Do you understand that grammaticality and style are not the same thing? Do you understand that we're trying to describe how the speech of a language works because that gives us the rules that are going to govern the way we write to you. But that we can revise. We can look at things and we can revise and we can say, well, you know, I'm not going to do what number two does, which is use the informal contraction with the formal move the preposition and then have, you know, the uh, we're not going to confuse styles, we can make those decisions. So what's a basic writing rule? Before you turn in any paper, always read it aloud. And if it sounds wrong, revise it until it sounds right. Forgive me, I'm trying hard not to cough at this point. That's all I want to say. Great poem by Bede. We can come back and think about Bede, but that's enough for this first one. Thank you.